Fernando, can you talk about how emotional a day this is for you? Can you, can you notice in my voice? <laughs> no. <laughs> ah, yo creo que es algo importante. Yo creo para, para mí la familia, yo creo que es algo pues que nunca imaginé que iba a pasar. La verdad. Prefiero estar con bases llenas y sin autos que estar. <ríe>
had there not been the injuries to Fernando's teammates. Coming out of spring training, I was slated to be opening day starter. But when we got back to Los Angeles after the freeway series at a workout, I strained my calf muscles so much that I was unable to make the opening day start. So Lasota went to Berhutten, and Hutton also got hurt just a few minutes before the start of the game. So the only guy left was, uh, was this young rookie, uh, left-handed pitcher by the name of Fernando Valenzuela. Tommy's asking me, we need a pitcher. You think you can, you can pitch today? I say, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. So Fernando Valenzuela has this crowd just dying to salute him. Valenzuela delivers, through ball, got him swinging. What a way to start. Fernando Valenzuela in his first big league start pitches a shutout. I don't know if if. Something happened my opening day, my first game. I don't know. Very important for me because I don't know if that's, if we're doing bad or something like that, gonna, we're going to have a more opportunity, more chance to stay in the rotation. So for me, that game was very important in my career. And Fernando, your manager, time was starting, he wasn't afraid to play rookies and young players. Can you talk about the impact he had on you? Yeah, he's, he loved to win. He loved to, uh, to uh, give you a um, chance to uh, rookies, young players. Digamos, me siento muy contento de estar con este equipo y pues, y pues aquí en estar en Los Ángeles. He said he's very, very contented. He's very happy to be with the Dodgers. He said he loves the Dodgers very much. He can't wait till he gets out. He loves beautiful Dodger Stadium. He thinks the Dodgers are the greatest organization <laughs> in baseball. He said he loves to play for Tom Lasorda. He said Tom Lasorda is the finest manager he's ever played. <laughs> Tommy Lasorda's relationship for, with Fernando was tremendous. Um, and why wouldn't it be? They're both uh, very gregarious, love, uh, fun-loving guys. Tommy spoke the language language very, very fluently. Well, that's funny because I've heard that uh, Tommy's English, uh, Spanish is so bad that it actually sounds good. Que yo está muy, muy excited, muy nervioso. Todo el mundo es muy, muy excited, muy nervioso. ¿Por qué tú no es? You know what? I think my English was better than his Spanish. <laughs> Fernando, can you talk just a little bit more in depth about the love that you have for the fans? Because fans everywhere are expressing their love for you today. I don't want to fail, and I want for them, you know, and the fans like the way, you know, players give it the best for, the, uh, for them and for the team. Backstage Dodgers is brought to you by Cadillac. to Fernando Mania Weekend here at Dodger Stadium. 42 years ago, a meteor from Sonora, Mexico landed on this mound. Impactfully and socially significantly as any player in Dodger history, his number will be added to the ring of honor. Number 34. Fernando Valenzuela. Fernando Mania took the baseball world by storm. And that included me, an eight-year-old little leaguer growing up in Pacoima in the San Fernando Valley. Fernando was more than an icon. He turned countless Mexican-Americans into not just baseball fans, but Dodger fans. He was the bridge that made our communities feel like we belonged. Gracias, Fernando. It seems like yesterday when this little pudgy kid who was 20 years old comes up with the Dodgers and starts opening day for us, and just lights the whole world on fire. 
One thing about Fernando, you saw his extraordinary stuff, but you, what you couldn't see was the ice water in his veins. Those of us that played with Fernando, uh, saw him grow as a person, as a, as a pitcher, uh, understand what he meant, not only to Southern California, the baseball world, but to our team. He was, um, he was an incredible leader, and it's a great honor to have his number retired. jornada de hoy llena de alegría a millones de aficionados en todo el mundo de la pelota. Gracias, Fernando. Sigue siendo una inspiración inigualable para miles de niños y jóvenes que ansían superarse. Tonight belongs to one of the most beloved heroes this team, this city, this sport has ever known. Ladies and gentlemen, Fernando Valenzuela. Thanks to my family, they over here. I want to thank the Dyers for uh, the entire death number. And all the fans follow the Dyers year after year. Thank you very much. Gracias. Fernando, ¿podrías decir que este 11 de agosto está dentro de los mejores días de tu vida? Yo creo que sí. Realmente, yo creo que es uh, algo que pasa una vez en la vida y Contento más que nada por el, el retiro del número. Realmente para mí es uh, uno de los momentos más, más inolvidables para mí. Our newest legends of Dodger baseball inductees will make this historic night official. Take it away, gentlemen. It's very emotional, really. Uh, I've never been in these kind of situations. To be part of the uh, entire for many years, now they're gonna do something, you know, with a number. I think that's the best. And Kale Ferguson will try and get the save. It'd be his first since May. On this one one from Ferguson, he chops one to third for Max Muncy. Dodgers keep on rolling 7-4 in comeback fashion. They are 22 and 4 in August. The Dodgers are rolling, and reliever Caleb Ferguson is doing his part with a 2.65 ERA in the rejuvenated bullpen. But it wasn't long ago that the 27-year-old Southpaw spent some downtime on the East Coast with his family and a few teammates, Finding Nemo and other fish. Howdy, when's the last time you went to an aquarium? Uh, I've been to a zoo recently, somewhat recently. What about you? Dude. I don't know. I love stuff like that. I don't know. Zoos yeah? And aquariums and stuff. I have to learn to love it. Yeah. I'm gonna be at him a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna be there a lot. <laughs> the National Aquarium is considered reputationally one of the top three aquariums in the country. So it's an honor to be located right here at the Baltimore Inner Harbor, and we love it when guests come by. Oh, look at the sharks. Oh my goodness. How much money to jump in there? <laughs> None. You gotta get him to wake up. I know. You need to wake up and see the shark. Is it still Shark Week? <laughs> no. It was last week. <laughs> I'm out on that. Oh my god, touch one. Huh? Touch one. Hell no. I don't want to sing Sing Me before. <laughs> that feels so weird. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's so weird. 
I thought it was cool. They're like so squishy. Oh, to never touch one before, but super squishy. Yeah. Weird. Weird. <laughs> That is one goofy looking fish. <laughs> Where's some big fish? I like big fish, not small fish. Oh, I want to see the date. Yeah, give me like something more. These are big sharks, dude. Yeah. How do people get in those crates with those things? Those, those things kind of scare me and I'm like outside of a brick wall. This thing. Look at that turtle. Shit, alligator. Oh, I didn't even see that alligator. I don't know, but I'd be scared if that thing came in on my fishing line. Or that one with the spikes on it. I don't know what I'll do. This is like yeah. insane. Are you excited to go see dolphins? Yes. Want to go see some dolphins? Yes. There's no dolphins in there. <laughs> Aren't they in Florida? Are you for real? There's no way they're in there. Oh, look. Look. Hi, Lori. Just looking at you, Jess. so cute. <laughs> been doing aquarium and I don't know how long so pretty impressive though it was cool it's big kind of wish we could have saw like a dolphin show or something <laughs> but pretty cool I, thought I liked it, was it. Cool. yeah I don't know the last time I was at an aquarium so it was fun and it's fun to be with friends too yeah you know because we go to so many cities and a lot of times we don't get the opportunity to explore them so it's cool to see a little bit of it yeah The Little League World Series champs are in the house. Tonight, the Dodgers celebrate the team from El Segundo. Don't let their smallish sizes fool you. What this team from El Segundo did was huge. Winning the Little League World Series championship with one of the most exciting and dramatic finishes in recent memory. moment that every kid dreams of and I'm just living the dream so it, it's really cool and I'm thankful for that moment what's up champions how you guys doing congratulations guys how was it? best experience ever yeah. LA is a city of champions so so why not have the world champs out with the World, ex world champs and maybe this year world champs. I mean, it's just, it, it makes sense. Hey, world champion! Well done, congratulations. Congratulations, good handshake, man. Congratulations, you too. Uh, so, what was the best? Okay, so winning the championship was certainly the best. What were some other highlights for you guys? Making friends with Japan. Making friends with Japan? Yeah. What else? Sliding down the hill. Hey, was it crazy? Everyone in the world was watching you guys play. Isn't that crazy? That's it. What do you got? Uh, probably going. Oh, yeah, really? Nice. Yeah, Bobby Miller. Come say hello to Bobby Miller. Yeah. You guys can be the next Bobby Miller. Congratulations. You guys say hello to Bobby, and I'll be back. I'll be back. A lot of these guys have a feeling they're future stars, so I think it's an inspiration to them to come out here and, and be with these kids and, and see these guys hit and understand that, hey, this, this is what it takes to get here. So they got about another six or seven years before that even draft even starts to settle in for some of these kids. Just about to take a chance at going with be really, really proud. be really happy. Never forget these moments. Super awesome. You look back on the day, they'll be like, oh, it's cool to be a guy today. 
Fans, please welcome to Dodger Stadium, the 2023 Little League World Series champions from El Segundo. Congratulations, boys and coaches. The Dodgers salute your success. You've made people here in Southern California, the state of California, and the entire country very proud of you. The next series is eye-catching. Two teams vying for playoff positioning and two of the game's best players competing to be voted the National League Most Valuable Player. It's not often you get to see the two leading MVP candidates go head-to-head -head in a series this late in the year. It's gonna be interesting to see how Ronald Acuna Jr. and Mookie Betts square off head-to-head. -head. You have to imagine these two guys wanna put on a show for their fans, but more importantly, for each other. That's a grand slam for Ronald Acuna, and it's 5-1 Atlanta. And it's with a grand slam that Ronald Acuna starts his own club. The first player in the history of baseball with 30 home runs and 60 stolen bases in a year. Here's the payoff pitch. Betts hits a fly ball the other way that sends Acuna back. He's running out of room. He's gone off the top of the wall. Back and forth, these big dogs go. A three-run home run. Base is empty, two gone. Mookie Betts hits a high fly ball to deep left field. Has he done it again? Mookie Betts got it up. Punch from Acuna. Counter punch twice from Betts. Acuna runs this time, and he has stolen number 62. What Ronald Acuna Jr. accomplishes is not lost on the Dodgers. Appreciative of the baseball history they witnessed, the team grants Freddie Freeman's request to deliver their gift to his former teammate. <laughs> So we want to, as the Dodgers, present you with a base from yesterday. Since you are one of one, 30 homers, 60 stolen bases, and you did it here. So we wanted to give you a base so you always remember it from the day you did it. And I wanted to be the one to present it to you. Congratulations, thank you. Thank you. That is awesome. Yes, sir. Forever, one of one. <laughs> Probably be one of one for multiple years, but um, but this, I'm so proud of you, dude. Thank that was so awesome. Being a one of one in a category that's pretty incredible, and obviously getting to play with him and know him, being friends with him, so to be able to uh, present him with that base uh, for him to be able to remember that, especially for me because I got to see him make his big league debut, and what he's doing now is pretty special. 